hi there well uh, before I go on to show you this latest item I just wanted to, to say this to you this this particular one is the 500th video that I've made for this YouTube channel in just slightly over 12 months uh, <laughs> it doesn't have the professional polish and pizzazz and all these little things that flick up you know in the in the screen etc and pointing to me and so on and so forth it's just my collection of all manner of things musical um, books all sorts of things DVDs and uh, I just want to show them to you to share them with you on my YouTube channel and I'm interested to hear all of your comments good bad or indifferent anyway I'll try and answer you answer them all um, as they come anyway anyhow 500 not out I think that's what they used to say about Jeff Boycott isn't it the cricketer but 500 videos I don't know how I managed to do all those videos on my own without help from somebody else anyway but there you go 500 thanks for watching them and uh, it's a pleasure to know that you watch them it makes it worthwhile for me anyway and uh, if you if you've not subscribed it's a good time to subscribe and then you won't miss any of the other odds and ends that I'll drag out to show you in the future anyway that's all said and done what I wanted to show you is this book Charles Shah Murray shots from the hip now i bought this i think uh second hand i possibly bought it from an oxfam shop or somewhere like that uh originally it came out uh the publication date is about 1991 um it says here about charles Shaw murray was born in london in 1951 and began his career in 1970 as one of the participants in the notorious 1970 Oz School Kids issue. He joined the New Musical Express two years later and eventually became uh, their associate editor before returning to freelance career in 81. He's the author, author of Crosstown Traffic, which I've got on the shelf over there, hardback copy, um, about the internationally acclaimed critical study of the life and work of Jimi Hendrix and it goes on and on and on you know he's written up for all manner of publications he's appeared in documentaries and so on shots from the hip uh, it says it's a volume that should delight the author's many admirers gathering as it does numerous pieces acclaimed at the time of their publication and fondly record subsequently but available only via the vintage magazine racks uh, aside the fluidity of their language their portraits of mega and minor luminaries from the pop firm permanent and their critical insight and humor they offer a singular history of pop's evolution over the last two decades now that's uh, neil spencer um that wrote that he he wrote for Q he wrote for International Times uh, which I I had some involvement with when I was very very young and uh, as well as selling it uh, a few items here and there that they uh, kindly published from a, a very young whippersnapper but um, it's interesting to see about his involvement in the Oz school kids issue now i can remember i was working in birmingham at the time i think it was 1971 this came up the oz trial and uh, a couple of friends of mine decided that they were going to do a march through the city center because of this thing about jailing the uh, the participants like felix dennis and uh, uh You'll have to excuse me. I've forgotten the name of the other, the other people in it anyway. Um, 
but various people that were involved in publishing it and oh there was a massive hoo-ha at the time so he organized this um well i say organized uh he just decided that we're all going to do it and uh, i used to work half day on a, a saturday because i worked for a big department store at that time and he said we will meet outside the council building under the statue of queen victoria and we will march through the city and protest about this uh, absurd conviction. So, of course, we all went. I mean, there was a girl next to me, and uh, I think she was what we'd call a bit of an attention seeker nowadays. And she had a great big uh, red L plate on the front of her and on the back. I don't know what that had to do with anything... <laughs> at all at all but she was loving the attention that she got from uh, onlookers obviously i don't know how we got away with doing that because it ended up in the newspaper we didn't have permission from the police to to uh to do this march and i think it lasted about i think it lasted about an hour and a half in total um by that time it all fizzled out and people went off home and uh, the placards i don't know where they went because they seem to vanish but still that was our little part in uh protesting against uh unjust convictions as we saw it at the time i used to buy oz magazine and i had the school kids issue um and various others and I also had uh, the underground magazine Gandalf's Garden don't know if you remember that at all um, unfortunately I didn't keep any of my International Times magazines which I wish, wish I had I keep living in hope that someone on eBay will have scanned them all and uh, offered offered copies of them for sale but alas to this day I've never ever seen any of those for sale anyway uh, sometimes you see um, original printed copies of it but they, they tend to be a bit on the pricey side now anyhow thanks for your support and uh, interested in any comments you might have about this 500th video and i look forward to making many more for you okay thanks very much have a great day